Tonight, there's a death investigation surrounding a helicopter that crashed into a canal. According to Miami-Dade police, a man died and a woman was rushed to the hospital. The witnesses were stating that they saw what appeared to be a helicopter that was spinning and falling. The crash happened a few miles away from the Miami Executive Airport. The night beats Justin Case is in studio. Justin, not a lot is clear about this, but early reports said this helicopter took off from Southwest Florida. There was an early report from the Miami Dade Police Department that the helicopter took off from Fort Myers. However, police later clarified and explained that they're they're no longer certain of that. Right now, it's unclear where the helicopter took off from or if there's any connection to Fort Myers or Southwest Florida. What we do know is that a man is dead as a result of the crash and three agencies are now investigating. Divers quickly exploring a canal just three miles west of Miami Executive Airport. The witnesses were stating that they saw what appeared to be a helicopter that was spinning and falling. Locating the helicopter and its two occupants was more challenging than you might imagine. The aircraft was fully submerged and there was no debris to make its location obvious. As you can see, you can clearly not see the helicopter. So they were searching. That's when they, according to witnesses, there was a female that came out of the water. A man and woman were transported to local hospitals. The man died from his injuries. The woman is expected to survive. Both the man and woman are described as adults, although their relationship is still unclear. If you approach the embankment, you're not able to see the aircraft at all. You know, so it's so it appears to be a, a, a pretty deep. Although it's still unclear what led to the crash, we reached out to a pilot and instructor to get insight into what pilots are trained to do when something goes wrong in the sky. Michael Dan Hartog says pilots are generally trained to look for an open area away from people, homes and cars to minimize the risk of collateral damage. But he explained the impact can be violent when the rotor blades hit either land or water. The biggest problem is the aircraft breaking up from the impact of water. Because water, when you hit it, is like doing a belly flop. It's like concrete. A preliminary FAA report could be released as early as tomorrow. The NTSB says they expect to be at this crash scene tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. to begin their investigation. Also, Miami-Dade police say they do not expect the submerged helicopter to be pulled out of that canal tonight. It could happen tomorrow once NTSB arrives at the crash site. Back to you.